Number one reason not to vote for Senator Barack Obama for your president. It's his lack of experience. The time has come to build a new majority that can lead this nation out of a long political darkness. President of the United States of America, the person who holds the office of head of state of the United States government. This is the title that Barack Obama so desperately wants, but does he have any experience? What qualifications does he have to be the leader of the free world? Well, according to some, his list of accomplishments is flimsy at best. Barack Obama says he's prepared to be commander in chief, to be president. Let's look at his resume. Out of law school, he becomes a street organizer in Chicago. In 1997, he's sworn in as a part-time Illinois state senator. In the legislature, he avoids tough votes on abortion, crime, and guns by voting present instead of yes or no. In 2005, he's sworn in as the junior U.S. Senator from Illinois. After only one year and passing but one bill, he runs for president. It's no secret that Barack Obama has a thin resume on executive experience. So what has he actually accomplished? Well, not much. We know that he started his career in public service as a community organizer in Chicago. But what does a community organizer actually do? A lot of people don't know what a community organizer is. And in fact, I didn't know what a community organizer was uh, entirely when I became one. After his community organizing deed, Barack Obama then moved on to serve three terms in the Illinois State Senate. Thank you, Illinois! From 1997 to 2004. So what did Barack Obama accomplish during his eight years there? Again, not much. Barack Obama didn't pass any major piece of legislation during his time in the Illinois State Senate, but he did have some very curious ballot casting tendencies. The presidential hopeful voted present 130 times. And according to the Senate transcripts, Barack Obama claims that he accidentally voted the wrong way six different times and had the record changed to strike his original vote. You and this... Even Hillary Clinton has taken jabs at Obama's voting record, portraying him as a talker rather than a doer. In the Illinois State Senate, Senator Obama voted 130 times present. That's not yes, that's not no, that's maybe. So is this how the presidential hopeful gained experience? By not taking a stand on important issues? Did Obama think that three terms in the Illinois State Senate is all the experience that he needed to be the president of the United States? And it isn't just the American people who think that Obama lacks experience. During a press conference in 2004, shortly after he won his campaign for the U.S. Senate seat, Obama himself said that he was not ready for the highest office in the land. You know, I am a... A believer in knowing what you're doing when you apply for a job uh, and I think that if I were to seriously consider running on a national ticket I would essentially have to start now before having served a day in the Senate now there's some people who are, might be comfortable doing that uh, but I'm not one of those people Apparently, this mindset didn't last too long. Just months before taking his U.S. Senate seat, Obama burst on the national scene. He was a virtual unknown until the 2004 Democratic Convention. Tonight is a particular honor for me because, let's face it, my presence on this stage is pretty unlikely. But as the world would soon learn, Barack Obama didn't care that he had little experience. He had his eyes set on the White House from the beginning. The Wall Street Journal reported that after Obama won the Illinois Senate seat, that his aides were sending workers to Iowa, the site of the first presidential caucus. Yeah, Michelle and I have been on this journey for almost 19 months now. Well, that means Senator Obama has really only gained a little over a year of U.S. Senate experience before forming his own campaign. So Senator Obama thinks he's ready. So how does his record stack up next to his opponent, Senator McCain? Senator John McCain has served 22 years in the U.S. Senate, Senator Obama just four. John McCain has sponsored 473 bills, of which 30 have been enacted. Senator Obama has sponsored 121 bills, of which only three were successfully enacted. Senator McCain is a decorated war veteran serving in the U.S. Navy for 23 years 
And we all know he was a prisoner of war for five and a half years after he was shot down while on a mission over Hanoi. Senator Obama has never served a day in the armed forces. Look, I have said that Senator McCain will bring a lifetime of experience uh, to the campaign, and Senator Obama will bring a speech that he gave in 2002. Senator McCain has a record. Senator Obama just has a lofty dream of, quote, change. Even Barack Obama's own running mate questions his experience. Senator Biden, you were asked, is he ready? You said, I think he can be ready, but right now I don't believe he is. The presidency is not something that lends itself to on-the-job training. I think that I stand by the statement. In fact, Senator Joe Biden said that in the past, he thinks that Senator McCain is a better man for the job. I would be honored to run with or against John McCain because I think the country would be better off. So what experience does Barack Obama have that qualifies him to be the leader of the free world? Three years as a, quote, community organizer, whatever that means. Eight years in the Illinois State Senate, where at the very best we can say he was, quote, present. One keynote address at the Democratic Convention. Four years in the U.S. Senate, two of which he spent campaigning for his presidential bid. So does this sound like he has enough experience to be the leader of the free world? And there you have it.